Hey there and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to show you how to install the game mod, Perk Loadout Manager for Fallout 76. This Perk Loadout Manager gives you 12 fully customizable Perk Loadout slots free of charge. This video is not made on behalf of the mod creators, but the donation links are in the video description below if you want to support them. So, there's a place called Nexus Mods which you can download all the legit mods for Fallout 76. Mods are no means of cheating, but rather it improves your in-game quality of life. We know for a fact that it can get quite technical, but hopefully this video will help ease you into your first mod installation. Subsequent mod installations would be as easy as a couple of seconds. First, you want to register an account with Nexus Mods as it will allow you to track what you have downloaded previously. It is a good way to receive updates on new or mods which have been updated. On our screen, you will see that we have downloaded the following mods such as Better Inventory, Improved Health Bar, Perk Loadout Manager and SFE. Some mods such as Better Inventory tend to mess up your game after each update of Fallout 76, so do be careful. Perk Loadout Manager and SFE are considered extremely harmless to your game. In layperson's explanation, Perk Loadout Manager allows you to have 12 different custom Perk Loadout slots, while SFE allows you to save this configuration. That's among the many things that SFE can do for you. SFE is the overarching tool to obtain first, because Perk Loadout Manager requires SFE to function. Select and download SFE. Read the installation guide. It is fairly straightforward to extract a DLL file into your main Fallout 76 directory. You won't get banned for doing this. Next is the Perk Loadout Manager. There's a short clip to show you how it works. Download the zip and extract the BA2 file into the data folder found in your Fallout 76. As we mentioned, you need SFE to run the Perk Loadout Manager. After downloading the files from Nexus Mods, unzip them and these two files will appear. Copy the DXGI file into the main Fallout 76 directory as shown in this screenshot. Click on the data folder in your Fallout 76 directory, and insert the BA2 file which is titled as Perk Loadout Manager. The configuration file will be automatically created once you have customized and saved your Perk Loadouts. Next step is a tricky process. Navigate to your Documents folder which contain My Games and Fallout 76. Look for the Fallout 76 custom notepad file. If you don't have it, there's a link in the description for you to download it. Write the following as shown in the screenshot. Remember to support us on Twitch and Discord. Let's talk about the Perk Loadout Manager, and if you successfully installed it, you would see that there are 12 boxes at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Using this mod, is entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way of using it. We are just sharing with you how we use it effectively. Naming your perk loadout is particularly important as it helps you to easily identify the loadouts. Follow the instructions at the bottom of the screen which shows you how to label and save the different perk loadouts. Press the number keys to switch between each perk loadout easily. We have loadouts for crafting, repairing, heavy gunner, pepper shaker, enclave plasma, shopping, picking locks and hacking terminals. Perk Loadout Manager offers you that opportunity to leverage on all the perk cards which you never thought you would use. Because it was so troublesome to switch cards back and forth previously. Now, it is as simple as a click of a button. Think about the scenarios in which you would need different perk cards for. Do spend some time to build your perfect loadout. 
To start using this perk loadout manager, we recommend you create a baseline loadout of what you require. Once you have established the baseline, you should save it first as one of the tabs, so that you can replicate it for the other slots. Of course, the baseline loadout is also dependent on your specials and we would recommend to work within the boundaries of your build. So, what we have here, is the baseline loadout. You will then customize to fit the scenarios which you have thought of. Here, I'm creating a scenario where I may want to pick a level 3 lock or hack a level 3 terminal. Say goodbye to your master infiltrator legendary perk. For instance, shopping would require you to equip hard bargain and travel agent. We included marathoner level 3 just because sometimes there's some running to be done. Next, a crafting loadout to help in your everyday crafting of weapons, ammunition and even camp building. Most important is to have the level 3 armorer because it is often forgotten especially when you are crafting secret service armors. There are times when you may forget to change your perk loadout, hence we removed all the weight reduction perks so that we are unable to fast travel. That will serve as a good reminder. You may also use this loadout to do weapon modification especially for energy weapons which require at least level 2 science expert. Don't forget the chemist perk card as it gives you double chems when making berry mentats. Home defense and contractor are perk cards you need for camp building, as well as demolition expert level 2 for turrets. Lastly, not forgetting the super duper perk card. Next, is on the repairing tab which focuses on repairing armors and weapons up to 200%, and white knight which reduces the cost of repairs. Sometimes you may spend a long time in your camp, so happy camper does help to reduce your need for food and water. We have perk loadouts for exploring and even for specific events such as guided meditation. We focus more on tagging during guided meditation, hence, there are no damage perks. For guided meditation, we aim to reload the fastest with lock and load level 3, one gun army to stagger goals, and level 3 quick hands which help you to automatically reload your weapon. Next, you can have specific loadouts for a particular weapon. In this case, we made a loadout for an Enclave Plasma Rifle, with the level 3 rifleman perk card with all the max damage perk cards on. But, realistically, you can never be spec for any type of weapon. So there's that opportunity cost. Next, we made a build for Pepper Shaker, just a ride on the hype a few months ago. We covered this in detail in our Pepper Shaker video, so we won't talk about it here again. One of the more interesting build was the Explorer build we made one week before our Fallout first expired. This build is heavily focused on exploring the wasteland. The Explorer build is heavily centered around luck perk cards encompassing Scrounger, Can Do, Woodchucker and Farmer Farmer. It is good to have level 3 Farmer Farmer so that you can find an abundance of chems. We suggest that all high-level players visit every location on the map again to have a different experience. Baseline of an explorer build is to have a level 2 lock picking skill. If you require a level 3 lock pick skill, simply switch to the lock pick loadout which we spoke about previously. After each update of Fallout 76, SRV will need to be updated. Hence. There will be a brief period of time whereby you are unable to save your perk loadouts. There is a manual way of updating it through accessing the perk loadout manager configuration file found in your Fallout 76 data folder. Open it, and essentially it uses Nuke Dragon to set up your perk cards. Copy any link found in the slots to access your perk loadout via Nuke Dragon and make changes and click share to open the link to your clipboard.
Once you have the link from the clipboard, just overwrite it on your PERC Loadout Manager configuration file found in your Fallout 76 data folder. Try to avoid doing this unnecessarily, and be patient as the mod creators are updating SFE. To summarize, how you use the PERC Loadout Manager is entirely up to you. This is an excellent quality of life and changes how you play Fallout 76. Well, almost near the end of this video, we hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and join our Discord for more Fallout content. You can also support us on Twitch as we stream regularly.